Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I am the C-H-A-L-L from Chell Sport, your YouTube sporting network and today we're going to be speaking about Gary McSheffrey revealing the addition of trialists in pre-season. Now, before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click that case bell to name YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,000 subs on this channel. It's unbelievable. We're posting loads of brand new content out there for sports. We've got Money in the Bank review coming up in a few weeks. We've got um, pre-season content for Rovers, including brand new graphics graphics for this season which I'm really looking forward to sharing with you guys and uh, we've got some other content coming as well from the Champions Hockey League we've got the Done Deal show on Sunday we've got NBA news we've got NFL news it's all going down right here right now on this channel and for now guys let's have a look at everything to do with the trialist potentially coming in on pre-season for Gary Sheffrey and Dogs to Rovers Football Club so the boss Gary McSheffrey has confirmed to the free press that they will run the rule over a left back trialist when they return to pre-season training on Monday. Now, Rovers are without a natural left sided send defender after boss Gary McSheffrey released Brandon Horton and Cameron John following last season's relegation. McSheffrey wants to add three or four bits of quality to his 21-man squad this summer and will cast his eye over some prospective new signings from next week. Now, uh, he said officially there will be a couple of trialists, a couple of youngsters we'll have a look at. Probably a left back trialist. It's an area we need to fill. We'll just see how pre season goes. If we feel there's areas we need to fill and players become available, we can have a look at them. Forward players are also on the club's radar as they look to address the lack of goals, averaging fewer than one per game last term. On the decision to release Cameron John, who missed eight months of last season with back injury, he said Cameron, for me, is a left centre back. He missed the whole of season of football and made seven appearances. It was important to get him back out there at the end of the season and show everybody he's back fit but we treated that one in terms of how we would try and treat a new player coming in if I brought a new player in and they'd not kicked a ball since last September the media would probably hammer me and the fans would probably hammer me we had to look at some of our retains in that way as hard as it sounds that was really the decision behind it on Horton who signed for Chesterfield this week but Sheffrey said I'm delighted Brandon's gone to Chesterfield and he's got sorted Good lad, I had him in the youth team and sometimes you just need that challenge in life and that change. You can get a little bit too comfortable at a club where it's easy for you to turn up every day and train. At times you can drop your levels and your standards. The challenge and change of scenery will really, I hope, get the best out of him and I hope he has a really good career. So let's share my thoughts on exactly what Gary McSheffrey's said to the press. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, that is what McSheffrey had to say on a few things, little extra details about some other topics as well, but also the main story about there being uh, a left-back trial list, we're going to be seeing a left-back trial list, we're going to be seeing a few youngsters uh, coming in on trial. I don't think, from the sounds of it, it sounds like there won't be as many trialists as there was last season and the season before that and things like that. I don't think there's going to be as many trialists this time. I think that maybe could be one of the slight changes that we're making at the culture of the club. I think we're not sort of really doing too many trialists. I think we're sort of looking at our business and getting our business over and done with um, and getting those four or five prospects in in the next few weeks um, and sort of try and get it done before the start of the season. So we use it. So basically, from the sounds of it, from what we're hearing, um, fr from, the, from, from the sounds of the talks, hopefully, fingers crossed, it all goes to plan, it sounds like between now and mid-July, we should have our transfer business done. Between now and maybe mid-July, hopefully end of July, um, try and get it all done before the start of the season in August. So, it, well, end of July, I mean, the last two, couple of days in July, I mean. But I mean, you know, it's 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 hope. Fingers crossed. If that's the case, it's nice that we're hopefully going to get our business done. In terms of the number of trials, like I said, I'm not thinking it's going to be as much as the previous summer or the season before that. Um, you know, I mean, look at the success of the trialist system. I, I just the in terms of in terms of bringing in trialists, it's we've not really signed many trialists that we've that we've took on trial. You look at some of the players over the past couple of seasons that we've taken on trial in the past. 
uh, Charlie Creswell, Taylor Crowsdale, uh, Dan Gardner, who signed for a season and, you know, is not here anymore. Aidan Barlow, who signed on for a year and he's now signed on for a second year. Only Aidan Barlow, for me, is one of the only trialists that broke through. The positive, though, we do have prospects like Lewis Reed in the past. You know, he could have been someone we got, but he went to Swindon. We brought in other people, and uh, he's done he's done fairly well at Swindon, from what I hear from Swindon fans. He's, he's done pretty well. He's done all right. Um, so, you know, I, I don't think we're going to turn to trialists as much. I think we're sort of looking at specific players that we've been looking at before. You know, I think the trialist system is just basically us trying to give players a run out, some fitness, some match fitness, you know, give them some games, get them used to playing football again and seeing if they work in our system or not. So I think they're sort of the trialists, and I don't want to sound disrespectful to the people that are going to be on trial at this club this summer during pre-season, but I feel like the trialists are going to be the fringe players, like the squad rotation of the depth players, that are just there for the squad depth, but could still play a key role in our promote. In our, hopefully, fingers crossed, our promotion from League 2 this season, because for any Dogs Rovers fan, that's the aim this season, to get promoted to League 1 again. I know it's going to be hard, I know people are not taking this to walk in the park, I'm not taking this to walk in the park, because there's a lot of tough sides in there. Look at Stockport, they've just gone and brought in, you know, Akil right from York, who who did amazing in that York side that got promoted to National League this season. He's left and gone to Stockport. You know, Stockport's brought in Cal Wooten, who was scoring goals a lot at Notts County in the National League. You know, the bring Stockport County are bringing in a lot of good players. Grimsby, are, you know, have got a good squad on them. Um, you know, Stevenage have had a good window so far. Crawley, Crawley's new manager wants to do well. Uh, Kevin Betsy from the Arsenal Academy. Um, Bradford have had an absolutely storming window under Mark Hughes and that's going to be an experienced manager that's, that's managed at the top of the game that's going to want to grab League 2 by the balls so we're not treating this as a walk in the park at all because there's a lot of tough teams around us and there's going to be at least I would say 10 to 12 teams on paper maybe a top 10 teams that will be in the promotion hunt this season I'd say we're one of them but you don't forget you've got nine other teams around us. So, you know, I'd, I'd say 10, maybe 12 teams, a couple of surprise packages. I think Barrow could be a surprise package this season on paper with their new manager, Pete Wilde, and the, the, the kind of signings they're bringing in. I think there's 10 to 12 teams that could fight towards those top seven places. You know, we're one of them, but there's another, you know, 10, 11 teams that could be up there as well. So it's not going to be a walk in the park at all. The best we can do is bring in the four or five permanent signs that we're going to bring in and the couple of loanies, two, three loanies that we're going to bring in um, before and get it all done before... I, 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 at maximum, let's try and get it done before the, before the last two weeks of deadline, uh, before the last two weeks of the window. And then maybe we've got those last two weeks to have our squad ready. But if we get an injury in the two games left in August, then maybe we'll, you know, look at the window before deadline day and maybe sign like an extra player on loan or something just to fill up the numbers while we have injured players, if we have injured players. But, um, but no, I, I should expect our business to be done a couple of weeks before the end of the window. Uh, that should be the case after the shambles last summer where we took up to deadline day and we still didn't get anybody in apart from a, a, a panic buy on loan from Newcastle. Still in his Newcastle trackies if you remember that one. Like I said in past videos, I will do a separate video on that shambles at deadline day and the events that transpired. So I do hope you're sticking around for the content from that uh, because I do have a, a nice looking video from that coming up. But, um, but yeah, in terms of trialists, like I said, I think there'll be fringe players, players that will give a run out to and see if we can offer a contract, but the majority of our business, if not pretty much all our business, will be done away from the trialist system and more focus on the official transfer market for me. So uh, there we are, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I'm the C-H-A-L-L from Chelsea Sport. That is full-time. Rovers tie-dye.